Long time celebrity pastor Carl Lynch has been fired from the church, man, for adultery. Wow. This don't surprise me, man. When I see stories like this, these guys ain't ain't holy, man. Like, you got to take a second guess at your pastor when you sitting there listening to him and he giving you the word or trying to tell you how to live your life. But if he ain't speaking facts, then why is we here? And when he's doing sin himself. And, you know, when you see stuff like this, with these, these celebrity pastors, man, I don't listen to them. And you got people like Justin Bieber and all these all these celebrities like, yo, man, we done with the church and all this. Like, what the fuck? This is one bad app inside of the church, right? And, you know, this story done made headlines, man. You know, Carl Lentz with Justin Bieber, the best friend. Tussie Road Bieber. You know what I'm saying? These celebrity pastors, these ain't no regular pastors. These are millionaires. These people get up and make millions of dollars preaching the word to you. And also buying Lambos and Jaguars and and Bentley trucks and all this stuff, man. Where everybody sitting back poor. But okay, a pastor's supposed to save your soul like this. But he doing the same thing, probably worse than what anybody else doing. And so they fired him, you know what I'm saying? And he been fired from the church. But I don't see uh, why this would be in the news. You know, it's all up in the in the forefront. And I don't I don't listen to celebrity preachers and stuff like that. You know, I kind of do my own research on things, man. Cause some of this stuff that these preachers be preaching about, man, they only doing it for the cash, man. Only doing it for the money. They only doing it for the twat. You know what I'm saying? Some Harry Cobb, man. Your pastor sitting up in church. That's why you, you go to church, bro. You just look at the look at the women in, in the church, bro. They all got their legs open. And what they showing, they Harry Twat. <laughs> they Harry Cobb, man. That's what they showing, man. You can down there smell it. Smell it uh, familiar on it, man. You can smell the aroma. Just sitting by him, man. And the pastor, you know, the whole time, you like, <laughs> Yeah. And God told me to tell y'all to put all your collections and all your earnings and savings into this collection plate. Yeah. Oh, Lord, is good. Look at that woman right there, man. Whoa, Lord. This is what pastors do, man. And I'm not just talking out the head. This from me, this from me experiencing stuff like this. You know, you experience things like this. And when you common sense to tell you, man, what's something right and what's wrong. That's why I tell people, man. You, I ain't got to go listen to nobody telling you something. You already know right from wrong. Unless you just that slow, you know. But some people know what they're doing. Like I said, you know what you're doing. Just like this guy here, Carl Lentz, he know what he was doing. He know what's right from wrong. But, you know, all this, this story right here, man, I don't know what to say about this. Him being fired and all this for this, man. He'll probably get another job. I'm pretty sure of it, man. Because the majority of these preachers, man, they just... They ain't here for the wrong reason, man. They up in there for a goat Lucy, bro. Like, to the entities in the church, you know. You go to the church, they in the church. And, you know, like Justin Bieber and all these guys, man. Celebrities walking around this dude, man. I can't take this serious. Then all this could just be just a, a big old story just put out here. He fired. <laughs> How you know you can fire a pastor from a church? So I guess they got now they can fire a pastor. They, you know, I thought you know the Most High called you to call to call you to preach, not to be fired by another man above you, right? A human being, right? So I get fired for doing the Lord's work. So let me know he wasn't doing it for the right cause. He got hired as a job. Like, this sounds like a job to me, man. Which it is to them. He got fired for doing a job, a celebrity job, a palace in the church. Come on, man. You gotta... This is crazy, man. Y'all got to open your eyes, bro. 
shoot, people be up in there throwing hundreds of dollars into the late collection plate, putting all they they uh they whole savings, man, all up in their life savings into the bank, into the to the tithes and all this, just to just to see the preacher eat good, his whole family going to college, all oh, they got private jets and all this stuff. Man, the pastor getting more snatched than anybody in the world, man. So he just sitting up in there, man. I see why he got adultery on him, man. Them hot young girls up in there, man. Sitting up in there in front of him. Got the Harry Cobb out in full display. And he don't know what to do. But he know, he know, he know what he did. He know what he do. He know what to do. Popping. It could have been big for us, all I know. Man, what y'all think about this pastor, man? Losing his job, getting fired as a real job. I never heard of a pastor getting fired like a job. It's like some 7 Eleven crap. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think, man. Is this dude real or fake? What it is? I'm out, man.